With the right apps, your phone can become your own personal life assistant. And in this series, we take a deep dive into what applications can help your phone help you become a better you. Hey everybody, welcome back to DAV Tech. The purpose of this series, as always, is to bring all of you value in terms of productivity, health and wellness, and utility. If you're new to the channel and that's something that you're looking for more of, as well as tech news and reviews that we do here, I'd consider hitting the subscribe button so that way you can stay up to date. All right, sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. For all of you audiobook listeners out there, Blinkist is an exceptional application. It takes audiobooks, seminars, think pieces, and breaks them down into their core tenets, trimming away a lot of the fat and eliminating a lot of exposition and tangents, which are typically found in more traditional formats. Within each piece of content, it'll break down all of the core tenets into chapters called Blinks, which are bite-sized audio pieces that are easily digestible for you. In each piece of content, you'll also find what this audiobook or seminar is about and who it's for, be it a business leader or someone who is looking to expand on their life goals or change their perspective on something. What's also nice is that if you're out and about and you figure your earbuds, have no fear because Blinkist inside of the application actually has written versions of all of those audiobooks, seminars, think pieces, so that you can read your content in the same easily digestible format as if you were going to be listening to it which is really handy. You can also search for titles, authors, topics, and there are categories available to you, such as in psychology, science, philosophy, entrepreneurship, and the list just continues to go on and on and on. So if you're looking for something, Blinkist probably has a topic for you. Inside of the app, you also have access to Blinkist originals, such as Checking In, State of Mind, and Simplify. There are also collections, such as for the New York Times bestsellers. Pretty sweet, as well as different collections for those looking to focus on financing or relationships and things like that. And best of all, one of my favorite functions in this application is that you can actually adjust the speed at which you're listening to the audiobook. So you can go to 1.25, 1.5, two times, or you can even slow all the way down to 0.5 or 0.75, or leave it on the standard speed setting. And alongside this, you also have an option where you can actually have it time out after certain intervals like 5, 10, 15, 20 minutes, and so on. If you're looking to get all of your audio fix and get all of that audio content in a really easy digestible format, Blinkist is pretty fantastic. For those of you looking to keep track of your habits, Avocation is an endearing and helpful application that will allow you to create a habit and dictate how many times in a day you want to do that habit. It also allows you to select what time of day, be that morning, afternoon, or evening, and select specific times, and also what days of the week you want to do that particular thing. Alongside this, it also allows you to set reminders just in case life gets a little bit hectic and you just need that little bit of a friendly nudge to make sure that you're staying on top of things. There's also a tab of information for science behind habits and the power of how small changes can affect us. And there are articles for understanding habits, recognizing them and systematizing them and implementing them into our lives and so on. Additionally, there's also a cute plant that you can grow within the application that continues to grow as you continually act upon your habits, sort of watering the seed of your life, so to speak. DeepTash is an application that's in a similar vein to that of Blinkist and that it offers you quick, concise, segmented bits of information that get straight to the point. There are topics available to you such as communication, problem solving, leadership, financing and investments, and the list goes on and on. When you pop into an article and you read through the segmented bits of information, it'll offer you articles and journals that are very similar to the one that you just read. After reading an article on rationalism, you might also get a topic on, say, idealism, nihilism, philosophy, and so on. And if you really are enjoying the read, you can actually click on the link that will take you to the full expanded version of the original article or journal that you were reading from. That way, if you want to go beyond the quick segmented bits and dive super deep into the, the nitty gritty of everything that the article has to offer, you're able to do that as well. Do you want to share with a friend? You can do that too. And what's really nice is that if you want to take those journals and articles to the big screen, say on your laptop or PC, DeepTash also has a web client that will allow you to log into your account and take all of those quick segmented pieces or expanded articles with you that way too. 
pretty sweet. So if you're looking for digestible, readable content, and you're looking to get the quick bits of information and get to the point quicker, Deep Tash is a pretty fantastic application. Tasks. Yes, tasks, that's what it's called. It's an incredibly simplified way to organize what you need to do now and know what needs to be done later at a quick glance. You set your task, select a due date, select what time that task needs to be done, and depending on near that task is to you in terms of time, it gives you color coding. Green is responsible for you're pretty good on time. You really don't have to worry about this right now. Blue is, that deadline's coming a bit closer. Yellow is, you better get on this pretty darn soon. And red is, this needs to be done immediately. This is the first thing that you need to do right now. You can break all your tasks into four quadrants, which are important and urgent, important but not urgent, not important but urgent, or not important and not urgent. And in that one, you probably put like, movies that people have recommended to you or like a show things like that if you swipe right on a task you can check that task off of your list or if you swipe left on a task you can delete it you can also hold down on certain items to move them to different parts of a list so say you have something that is in the important and urgent tab, but you've meant to actually put it in your not important not urgent tab you simply hold down drag it over and you're good to go. Task is a really nice, clean way to know at a glance what you need to do and when. Pretty great. If you're looking for something to assist you in self-monitoring, Mood Flow is a self-monitoring calendar that allows you to select your emotion from tense to carefree or gloomy to excited, journal what happened or is happening throughout your day, and rate that day in your emotions on a scale of one to five. The app also has a built-in gratitude journal that really just lets you sort of sit down and take a moment to consider all of the things that you do have, all of the things that are making you happy at that moment in time. It's a really nice way to put things in a healthy, mindful perspective for yourself and give you perhaps that jolt of positive energy that you need to sort of keep on going. In addition to this, there are also habit challenges that are challenging you to include little bits and moments in your life that are probably going to help improve that. So for example, I have one for myself that tells me to just, hey, sit down in silence for five minutes and be mindful of yourself, how you're feeling, and what are the things that I need to take care of, that sort of thing. And you can check off each day that you engage in this behavior, and you can see in the long term if it's actually having a positive effect on your mood and your outlook on life on a day-to-day -day basis. Incredibly helpful is that there's actually a built-in data chart in the application that lets you see your sort of self-monitoring growth over time. And on top of that, there is a really nice, really soothing, background of just some waves lapsing over on a beach it's really i like it <laughs> let me know in the comment section down below which of these apps you guys think you'll be using on a day-to-day -day basis to help improve either your proficiency with your audiobooks or garnering new information or self-monitoring and if you have any apps that you enjoy using on a day-to-day -day basis that you think would be useful for this series please let me know i'm more than happy to check them out if you're new to the channel and you stood all the way to the end thank you guys so much for stopping by and hanging out with us and if you're looking for more content like this and tech reviews that we do here on the channel i consider hitting the subscribe subscribe button right down here so that way you can stay up to date and hang out with us here in this awesome community that we've built over the last uh, I think three months now it's been an awesome ride thank you guys so much again for stopping by and hanging out as always I wish you a fantastic day afternoon and night and as always peace love adios bye everybody stay awesome stay cool stay you in three two one. Bye.